live again. It's been a while. I realize that. So come join me. Make sure you push the like button. Ask, ask questions. Enjoy the show. I haven't been on for a while. So here we are. And we had a, I, there was a long break going on. I had a lot of shit going on. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get online privately. So here I am. And I'm waiting for you to join me and ask me anything you want because I'm going to teach you everything I know from this little brain of mine. So good morning, afternoon, wherever you're from, from Italy, I see you are. Uh, no one's gone into my, my video because I have been burned before. But thank you for the one thumbs up over here. If you're just joining me, my name is Karen Lee. I do a podcast with my son called Sex Talk with My Mom. I uh, have a dog named Gus. Come on, Gus, come. Here he is. He's coming here to join, to join the live stream. Here he is. This is Gus. And so what is, what is, uh, I'm going to say hi to everybody first. Have you been on here for a while because I missed you a few? No, I have not been on for at least a few weeks. Uh, there's a lot of reasons that I don't go on as frequently. One is that YouTube has demonetized me because I talk about things they don't think are appropriate, like honest discussions about life and the pursuit of happiness. Um, so that's one reason. The other reason is that um, I just wanted to focus on my Patreon page, which is uh, where you can support me there for doing live shows or whatever. And the other reason is because we had Thanksgiving and it's been, you know, a lot of traveling, going to Chicago and things like that. But I do welcome you all here and I'm glad that you joined me. I do have a book coming out called F-U-C-K, Fuck Games, Day Cougars. And it will be out hopefully soon. I'm just like finalizing some chapters and then I will put it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and Gus is giving me a major cleaning. All right. So here we go. Um, I'm going to answer. I'm on YouTube and Instagram right now. So I'm going to answer both of you guys. You're both, both, both you guys, both platforms questions as they come up. So first I'm going to start with YouTube. So hang in there on Instagram if I don't get to you right now. Gus is unbelievable right here. He's just licking away. Neil Levitin. Ah, hi, Neil Levitin. Okay, so where was it? Tom, hi. Zoe, hi. Hi, you've been here. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful day. And cougars are the best. Thank you. Thank you for all the compliments here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. If I don't say your name, it just don't worry. I will. I'll get to you. Zoe. Tiny boy from Russia. Um, how was my week so far from Raw Dick Ho? Nice name. Um, my week is flying by. Just flying by. Okay. Let's see. Right now, I'm dating a cougar, as I love. So that's why I've missed a few videos, like three. Yes. Uh, okay. Your virgin ears, Neil Leviton. Oh, my goodness. How do you get a cougar to have a sexual relationship with you? Jonathan. Um, well, I mean, many times that's the perfect, that's the, what you want. It's, it just it works out perfectly because, say, an older woman is not wanting to have a serious relationship or uh, anything more than casual sex or things like that. This works out perfect because that's what you're looking for as well. So I guess the main thing I would suggest is talk to her and find out what, you know, what she's interested in and be honest. Tell her what you're interested in. And if, if it's nothing more than just sex, then just say that. You know, I'm all about open, honest communication. There, That way, nobody has any misunderstandings. You follow me? All right, I'm going to take a little Instagram questions. Um, you ever have time to be a cougar yourself? I um, I consider the cougar to be a competent, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy woman. So yes, I am all of those. Uh, great, we're going to depends on the game when you okay. 
That's great. The week went by quick. It depends on your game when you approach a cougar. I'm not sure what that question is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Steven is dating a lot of older women in New York, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and Miami. I'm a ladies' man. Okay. <laughs> you travel a lot. Um, now, Jonathan, uh, okay. Sorry that I'm having trouble because the, the uh, sentences are going by too quickly for me to read them. Uh, then they get offended. Jonathan is asking about... Um, she says she only wants sex, although, and then she gets offended. So again, it's just a matter of clarifying what your intentions are and making sure she's being honest with you about her intentions. Because, you know, you it is too confusing if you're both playing games. And that's one of the reasons the older women, younger men works, because older women at this point are done with the game playing and they're just ready to, to either have some sort of casual sex or a relationship. It really depends on, you know, what she's interested in. Uh, Neil, I can't date an older woman. They don't exist for me anymore. Yes, that's a little hard when you're already 95. Uh, hello, you're looking to everything. Thank you. Thank you. My, my comment is towards Jonathan. Jo oh, okay. I got you. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome, Jonathan, for the advice. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So that was big Noah Burton. I'm going to Instagram now. Uh, sometimes I don't make it. So just redo your question here. Let's see. My brother likes to call out my homosexual tendencies in front of Mormon family because awkward dinners during the holidays. How do I explain casual hookups to Mormon baby boomers? Um, Mormon baby boomers. Um, that's a tough one because Mormons have their own set of rules that, uh, you know, are different from societies as as do a lot of religions so um hmm how do i explain casual hookups again i think you just got to be real clear what that is and don't be afraid of what people think the more secure you are with your own beliefs and what you you know want to get out of your own life the more people will respect that and have to go along with it or they aren't part of your life you know you guys can choose who you want in your life. And if they're not people that, that respect you and don't treat you well, then get them out of your life. Um, I'm pretty like adamant about that. So I, I hope that helped you. Uh, my Mormon guy though, over there. Uh, let's see. Hello to you guys, Big City Apple and Bowman. And let's see. Hello to everybody here that is saying hello. Sorry that, um, let's see. I'm sorry that I'm not able to, not trying to be distract, disrespectful. Of, that's, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I bet sex with Karen is out of this world. Of course it is. Uh, let's see. I hope everybody has great sex. And if you're not having great sex, figure out what you got to do. This is my dog, Gus. This is a man's best friend. He's going to be 12 years old. He's blind in one eye. Uh, let's see how to make a move on a cougar when we're watching Netflix on the couch because she keeps feeling on me and I don't know if I should ask her to bang trying to be a gentleman here Miko's Miko's trigger okay Miko's trigger well if I'm watching Netflix and I'm into some show I don't I don't want anybody uh, bothering me but if she's actually playing around and goofing around with you I would say hey do you want to watch the show or do you want to like take some time and just chat. Uh, so I would say you really have to just kind of like either try to go for it and ask her, you know, what she's interested in. If she does want to quote unquote bang, or if you're just trying to, you know, tease you because sometimes teasing doesn't work when you're trying to focus on a TV show. Uh, K States. I'm with her right now. I know I told you I've been had Google girlfriends before I was looking and I'm, with one again. Yay, K states. Gregory, I took your advice. What advice did I give you, Gregory? Oh, I met an older woman that is interested in me. Awesome. Gregory, give me the exact things that I told you to make it uh, happen. I'm going to write them down because I intend to use a lot of these in my book. If you guys have stuff that's worked for you or places that work where you pick up women um, that are older, ah, 
people are always asking me for that like demographic look at the amount of notes i have here anyway people always ask me for specific places of where that they can where they can meet older women and I don't know, except that, you know, wherever you are, there's probably some place that older women congregate because we'd like to do that. What's the youngest age you've ever been with? Big Noah. This is the kind of question I get every time. And I just, you know, and even I asked this guy once to write me why people ask that question. Is it because they want to know, like, for their own curiosity, if some woman my age would date them? Or is it because they want to know personally because they're just curious? Or are you trying to... Uh, is there some other motivation there to see if, you know, you're odd because you have a, a preference for older women? What I don't know. What, well, I would say, why would you ask the question? Hey, Karen, could I get your wisdom now? M-I-Z-E-W, sure. Tiny boy, I'm 16 years old and know a 21-year-old girl. I know her from the past 10 years. She has been treating me like a little brother. Recently, I created some feelings for her and she is single right now. Tiny boy, um, so if you like a girl and you want to ask her out, go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you're a little young for this this channel. It's not really for kids under. It's not really for people under the age of eighteen. Let's see. Please tell me how to propose to her. I would just uh, tell her how you feel and ask if she. Uh, if she would want to go out with you, I guess. Uh, let's see, key, key states. I just want to let everyone know that it's possible. I'm trying to show everyone here as I've tried before. Uh, so I'm with her right now. I know I've told you I had cougar girlfriends and I was looking and now I'm with one again. So it is possible. Uh, okay, so this is big no. It's because I'm in my early 20s and I'm trying to see the average age cougars go far or the youngest that they go for. So it, you know, really big Noah, it doesn't really, um, it's, it's not up to me to tell you what age other women would, you know, how young they'd go. I don't know. I can just tell you that I don't believe that age really is a big determining factor. I think it's all about, you know, you know, the connection that you have with the person. So don't worry so much about age. Just worry so much about the connection. Gregory, she's 57. You told me to be myself and you told me don't care about, about age and to try to make her feel young. I really like her and I think my dream may come true. Yay. Okay. I'm going to repeat that, you guys. So here's what my advice was for Gregory and it worked. She's 57. You told me to be myself, always be yourself, and to try to make her feel young. That's a really good idea because that's one of the thing, reasons that... Uh, older men don't work out for some older women because they get really boring and stodgy. I really like her. I think my dream can make them true. Uh, that's awesome, Greg. Uh, my cougar loves being, this is key states. My cougar loves being with me, et cetera. On another note, I've known her for many years. We finally got together and made things happen. I'm so happy that you guys are finding success. You love the sweater, Erica. Thank you. Thank you. I love this sweater too. It's really cool. Um, Let's see. Hi, John. I, yeah, I know you always tell me it's John. I, I got I got it. Uh, uh, let's see. If I dated a cougar in suit and tie, what sort of suit and tie would be attractive to them? Hope you're well. I think any suit and tie is going to end up being attractive. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, where was I? Uh, in Russia, even a girl a little older than you starts treating you like a child. Society is more conservative. Okay. So you're in Russia. Um, okay. Where was I here? Uh, anyway, where, what, what are the questions you have? And if you are in a certain area, let me know where you live. I'm curious. Does ignoring her work? No, that's not going to work. You want more? What about some? What about some about who 52 and women 57? Uh, so you're 52 and women are 50, and a woman is 57. Andy, it's totally cool. I mean, 
I, I'm not a big person to believe in the numbers game. I don't really think that's really the matters. It's all about other things that connect two people together. Most important thing, if you're dating anybody, your age, younger, older, whatever, just be yourself. Don't be someone else. Don't try to put on an air. Be confident. Really try to work on you. The more you work on you, the more of a turn on it's going to be for that person because she's going to want to feel the confidence. Uh, let me know if you agree by giving a thumbs up. Also, like Erica, go to Sex Talk with My Mom. And we have a uh, podcast there on the mom. I do it with my comic son, Cam, where we put on a real funny uh, podcast two, two times a week. I think you'll really like it. Elaine saying, real lady, very classy. Ah, thank you, Elaine. Wow. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm like laughing at the word. I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm just liking the, the name Elaine. Uh, no one's going to get to be in my video, unfortunately, because I've been um, burn too many times with people whacking off in the video. Um, what do you guys think about dick pics? I just had to really scold uh, someone who had sent me a dick pic um, who was under, uh, who was 18 years old, and it was really like something that I would think they know better. Tiny boys say in Russia, even a girl a little older than you starts treating you like a child. Society is more conservative. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, key states. Nanda, you're from Utah. Uh, Key State, I'm be with my lady, so I'll get back later as I'm going to be busy as I'm saying she's here now, and I'll see you later. Love you, Karen. You have fun with your lady. Say hi to her. Uh, Steven, I I'm, I'm, met a woman who was 63. She's a piano player and a jazz singer. Awesome. Cougars are yummy, says, says Keith. Keith? Yes, Keith. Okay. Never sent a dick pic and never will. Why is that, Taylor? Because you're using your common sense. Women don't want any unsolicited dick pics. Nobody. Now, Gus, don't send a dick pic. Um, really, that's you know only reserved for you know people that want to send that to each other. And even then, I get nervous because you know you break up with a person, and I've heard stories where you know one or the other gets angry and puts you know the pictures all over the internet. So just be careful with all that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. Any other questions that you guys have, let me know. I'm I'm here for another five minutes or so, and then I got to run. But I thought I'd jump online and tell you about my book that's coming out called F U C K Cougars. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, F U C K Games Day Cougars. In other words, Buck Games Day Cougars is the name of the book. And it's really written for people like you guys that want to learn about like where to approach or where to find older women, what to say, how do you prepare yourself for dating an older woman, and then obviously um, any any questions that you have will be answered in that book. Uh, Greg, you live in Chicago, and this woman is talking. Uh, I'm talking to is from Chicago, and she's in my neighborhood, and we're just close friends right now. That's a good way to start, Gregory. Just start out as friends. And be there for her as a good friend. And then who knows what can happen after that. And Tiny Boy, yeah, I know I can report that. Um, what am I going to do this Christmas? That's a very good question because I waited too long to do anything. So I don't know. Probably not a lot. Um, what is everybody else doing this Christmas? And besides buying my book. Oh, no, I, my book probably won't be out by, by then. But what do you guys think of the book? Uh, and would you buy it? Or would you think it would be something that you can uh, learn from? Big Noah, can telling a woman she doesn't look her age be possibly offensive because of maybe she thinks she's not that old? Uh, you know, okay, so when someone says to me, you look good for an old woman, I mean, it makes me feel like shit. So telling her um, a woman that doesn't look her age could be considered a compliment because then she's thinking, well, you think I look young and that equates to beauty. I would just stay away from any age reference if you could and just say, hey, you look good. That's that's about it. Do cougars like long hair on men? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's all individual. If you like the way you, it, it's all about how you feel about yourself. Um, Mikos, it's like if you feel that you 
like long hair on yourself or you like bald hair on yourself. If you like to shave your head, if you like to wear a mustache or a goatee, or if you like, you know, to have tattoos, those are all personal preferences and they make you unique. So wear your hair the way you like it. Don't worry about anybody else because the more confident you are about yourself and how you look, the more you're likely to attract someone in general, no matter how old they are. It's all about confidence. It's my whole thing. That's why when I define the word cougar, I put it as the C is for cougar. I mean, sorry, the C in cougar is for confidence. Uh, you can't wait to get the book. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, do older women like beards? Tiny boy. I, I think it's the same thing. You know, some older women might like a beard. Some older women may not. But it's more about what you like. If this is you, if you, what, if you, if your identity is associated with. I have this really cool beard or this really cool, you know, Mumford and Sons or ZZ Top's beard, then wear it. Just wear it with confidence, whatever you decide. Have you ever been to Tropicana Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey? They have Cougar and Cub Night first Friday of the month. Thanks for letting me know about that, Greg. So, yeah, those are the kind of things. Put it in the comment section below here on YouTube if you could because then I'll put that in a section I have in the book about uh, where the Cougars can come where do cougars hang? Uh, Gary, sorry for this. Oh, whenever I see here, whenever I read sorry for this, I get nervous. Uh, okay, sorry for this, Karen, but I had a change of heart. I decided to go with my instincts in life. I'm no longer a one woman uh, kind of man. I go with a variety now, not just one woman. I don't date. You don't date. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you need to apologize for something that, you know, you've made a personal preference for, Gary. That's totally cool. And don't apologize for it. Do not apologize. Just apologize if you're leading somebody on to, you know, if you are dating someone and you're saying I'm monogamous and then you're dating other people. But don't apologize for something that you are you have convictions about. Like, I am, I'm just not a monogamous person. There's no need to apologize. That's who you are. I was with a guy who emailed you about my non-existent love life who is interested in older women and I have difficulty talking to older women. I was the guy who emailed you. Okay. Um, me, JW. Uh, I have difficulty talking to older women and on a few dating sites with no uh, luck advice. Um, so yeah, if you date, if you email me, I can only, you know, like I'm glad you're on the live stream right now because it's the way that I can talk to everyone and get the same message across because everybody has the same kind of questions you just did. Um, you, you don't have a love or sex life and you're interested in older women and you have, dif and you have difficulty talking to older women. And I'm going to say to you, um, M I Z E J W just remember the most important thing is just getting your confidence up. So if that means going to the gym or going to a therapist or, um, just following a passion and becoming really self-sufficient and, and proud of yourself and confident in what you do and what your, your, um, goals are women will start becoming attracted to you. It doesn't matter how old they are. The more you believe in yourself, the more people will believe and respect you. Hi, Karen. I didn't know you uh, until a few hours ago, and I love what you say. Ah, oh, thank you, App World. If you love what I say, please subscribe, because like I said, um, YouTube has demonetized me. That means I don't get any money. So you can join me on my Patreon page, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Karen Lee. You can join me there if you want to support me in doing these live streams. Uh, and or just subscribe to YouTube and hopefully I can get them to reverse their uh, algorithms and let me be on uh, monetization again. Definitely don't bring a page to a woman in general. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there's no need to. Can we see your feet? No. Uh, let's see. Nice woman. Thank you. Um, respect the drip, Karen. What the hell? Los pol Los Polos hermanos. Uh, anyway, so that's all I got to say right now, you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, put them in the comment section below here on YouTube and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I come on live again. And if you do have questions, uh, put them down there. I'll try to answer them. And if I don't answer them, uh, I will get to them at some point And maybe you'll end up um, having your question be in my book. Um, Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. And um, 
that's it. If you're on uh, Instagram, thank you for joining me. And YouTube, the same. Bye-bye. Done.